Well, with the fatigue setting in and our standard uh, schedule, it is 6.03 a.m. on October 5th. So it's uh, six hours and three minutes into the day of uh, Monday, October 5th. And we're beginning the vlog for Monday and Tuesday for the 5th and the 6th. I just finished uh, about an hour's worth of gaming and meditation. And then I watched a little bit of uh, Fillmore. Uh, that's the cartoon, the, one of the cartoons I like watching. Uh, I don't know. It, it, when you push yourself forward, and I have been doing that over the last few weeks, pushing myself into new, t new territory, you always like some degree of standard, we'll call it a standard routine, and... Uh, Fillmore, the cartoon Fillmore, is part of my standard routine, and it's comforting to go back to that and sort of, you know, I had a bowl of cereal because uh, I don't want to eat anything heavy right now. Uh, I mean, I do cook great food, but the thing is, is who wants, you know, sasabi or or or, or uh, gibby at this particular point in time? Uh, what you want is something like a. Uh, uh, Almost like a like a breakfast uh, bedtime uh, food. Uh, I guess you would associate with that, and so that's uh, either cereal or pancakes. And cereal was the easiest thing to do, so cereal it was rather than pancakes. So probably the next couple of days, about a week or so, I'll be doing pancakes. I, I wrote these things, rotate these things in and out. It really depends on what my mood is and how I'm feeling at the time. Mood does affect a lot of how you see things, and it, for me, it affects the uh, way my taste buds work, uh, the type of foods I like, uh, different things like that. And at this point in time, even though I had a sufficient sleep, but it just I still feel the fatigue, and, and I'm in, I'm in a sort of a slow motion type of mode where things are kind of moving by slowly rather than very quickly and the the cereal kind of hits the spot uh, the Fillmore is is there as well uh, I've increased my uh, meditation to five hours now I'm doing what I used to do on Friday and Saturday Friday, uh, Wednesday Fridays and Sundays uh, the prayer meditations the five hours I'm now doing them every single day so uh, that is an increase. I've been able to do it now for about two weeks. Uh, I'm going into my third week uh, of doing the five-hour meditation. And it, 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 it is a push forward. It, it, in meditation, the mind does think of things. It's, this mind is not empty. At least my mind isn't anyways. And the thing is, is that it, just like the dream in the altered state, it leaves me with a sort of sense of a ponderance once I leave the uh, state of uh, of meditation. There is still the sort of ponderance state that you would have after a dream or, or so on and so forth because the feelings, the emotions in meditation follow you f from the meditation into, I guess, what you would call the wake state, the more, you know, the, the non-meditative state. And the goal eventually is 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 to, is to have the meditation state, the, the meditative state, there on a continuous basis to be always in the meditative state, no matter what you're doing. <clears throat> now, that's a rather complex thing, particularly if, if I'm going to uh, be using um, the e-scooter tonight. That really depends on the weather, uh, because your mind has to be f focused on the road. And the meditative state is a more, a more relaxed state where being on the road, you're not necessarily on, uh, relaxed because you have to watch for all the different various things that are going on around you in order uh, to be safe and not get... Because there are other cars on the road, there's other trucks on the road. Uh, you're not the only one on the road. And if you make a slight mistake, you could that could end up being disastrous, particularly at 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't pushed it up to its speed of 50 kilometers an hour. I'm still at the 25, 30 kilometer uh, an hour mark. That's going to take me a while to get up to the, the full 50 kilometers an hour in terms of being comfortable, in terms of being safe as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've got the new seat 
uh, on there now, so th this will sort of give me an indication of where things are going to end up going. I've got the GoPro on there, so we should have uh, we should have uh, more footage coming into the vlogs uh, uh, from the e-scooter. When a dream is left unanswered, in other words, the situation ends with uh, without an ending. <laughs> That's when the ponderance begins, and I'm just I'm just coming from one such dream as we speak. It's uh, 13 hours and 14 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, October 5th. But that's not why we're here. We're here because packages. Packages are the continuous Christmas. And Christmas that always is. For those who want Christmas never to end, or for there always to be a Christmas, this is how you do it. Packages, even though you pay for them yourselves, the unpackaging, the unboxing, is quite exciting. Although, my level of excitement leaves a lot to be desired. A lot of it has to do with just the way I sleep and uh, the things that go on within my sleep that sort of ask me to, uh, okay, this is, looks like a utility bag. I think I will know what this is. Yes. It is a very tiny, very minute... Um, what you go call it? Okay, good. It's a, uh, It's a mini grinder. You know, high ro high speed ro uh, uh, rotary tool. I've got all the parts I want, all the bits and pieces. Comes with that. Uh, it's charged by USB. It's you got it, it. It works off a USB charger, so I've already got one of those. <clears throat> The other one I have that did, that did this was <clears throat> very big and very bulky. Uh, I said, I do recycle a lot. I, I, I do an enormous amount of recycling. And this comes in handy for that. <clears throat> Appears to be uncharged. So I got to plug that in and charge. That's the first package that came. Second package is here. Here we go. Second package. Let's see what this is.
comes in a box, but a green box, but comes in a green box, but uh, it's on the inside I have no idea just just, just yet. <clears throat> the package is off. Looks like this is the opening part. It's got tape on it, so let's get the tape off. Okay, good. Ah, just in time. It's from Rock Brothers. It is a, a case specifically for my phone. So I can I can mount this on the uh, on the bars for the scooter. So I put the phone in here. So let's try that now. Let's try to get the phone in. Let's see how this works. up like that. The Velcro Velcro strap. That takes care of that. Got something for uh, for the for the microphone, but if you're using Bluetooth, then you don't need that. So <clears throat> let's take one of my devices. Oops. There you go. Let's see if we can get this to focus at all. The device is in here. Let's see if we can navigate. Let's go back to... Uh... Oh, very nice. There it is. There's the phone in there. This will go on the uh, center part of the handlebars uh, for my scooter. And this will give me uh, navigation and uh, with, with Google Maps, give me navigation and a better speedometer uh, so I can track my trips to wh wherever I'm going so yay for that very nice and uh, it looks like I can even do a Bluetooth with this I I'm probably end up calling someone later on today and through this and sort of see if it works in terms of the the, the uh, I can actually hear the sound through here so uh, it's more than likely that I'll be able to uh, make calls right from here it's got a compartment that I can put things in. Probably, what I end up doing is I'll end up putting a a, a power bar, a power uh, bank in there. I have one that's just the size that will fit this easily. And yeah, that looks like it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to take the phone out, and this is it for now because I'm going to go put this on the handlebars of uh, the scooter. All right, see you later. on October 5th and I'm back on the scooter again. Uh, new seat, much better. Handle the road, much, much better. I don't feel the bumps. I don't feel the jounces. Uh, much better. 
Uh, it's going to take a little getting used to again because I have been, haven't been riding for two weeks. I had rolled my ankle and uh, kind of sprained it. So I was off my feet for about two weeks. So just getting back into it again. Uh, got some new features on here. Some new. Uh, uh, I've got a pouch on the front that allows to hold my uh, my uh, cell phone. So I've got a uh, travel guide and I've got a better speedometer. Uh, not that again. Once again, I'm not going to be looking down at it or, or taking my eyes off. Handling the bumps much better. I just went over a few larger, a few larger bumps and. It didn't hit me as hard as it did before. So we're going up until now, so we're just going down just a little bit to the hill, and we've got a light up ahead. So now you're getting, uh, hopefully when it, it's not raining out, it's colder out, but when it's not raining out, I can do this more often, and so that you'll be getting uh, log segments on the scooter. Right, here we go. Definitely enjoying this. See, these guys here didn't give me enough room. They're probably traveling together, and the bike just scooted around. I mean, just gave me barely enough room. Uh, that's not proper driving, and that's what you have to watch out for. There are other drivers on the road who aren't as good. They feel they can weave in and out, and uh, that's what causes accidents. The only thing I gotta watch out for now is post nasal grip. Although you really can't see it on I can't see it on camera because it's not facing me. Uh, the wind causes the uh, loosening of the uh, mucus and uh, well it starts to drip. Particularly in these temperatures. So uh, I'm having a good ride. I'm very comfortable at this speed. Matter of fact, I don't feel the speed at all. But uh, right now, I think this is, this is as good as it's going to get for for a bit until I get more used to the uh, to the scooter. No, no, I can also talk about it when we're scooting like this. Because my focus needs to be right on the road. I can't go into my mind and sort of figure out what's going on. And that manhole cover, which would have uh, I would have killed me on the other old seat, doesn't bother me at all. I'm very steady over it. It's not jump, uh, the scooter is not jouncing around the way it used to. Did last week, anyways. So, breaking right. The brakes can be a little sensitive. Let's go back to the road. Start off. I still have I still have to practice on my stops and starts. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot to get to used to. I haven't been riding in years, so it's going to come back to me at some point in time. <laughs> I think I've also got my YouTube stroll down pretty straight. Uh, I've got a good path, a very good path, and then off the path I have, like on Clintus, I have got a number of good uh, RV uh, channels. Uh, because Clintus, I was started watching his RV uh, vlogs as well. I really like them, so I put all the RV people, uh, all the RV channels, in on the Clintus path. And 
And I've read a number of the uh, channels. I, think, I like the Loftus Party of Six, and then there's, a, I think, the Diary of a Family. It's also very good. And what you'll be seeing is I'll be putting in, by the time you'll see this before ahead of time. Uh, when I'm on a side channel or on a side path, uh, I'll put the main path, the main point on the path up there. So uh, when I'm talking about Loftus Party of Six, you'll also see the uh, Clintus logo because uh, he's off the Clintus path. And you'll see how I organize things. And the thing is, I, I have it so that I can watch it. It's like uh, that's my cable TV, that's my reality TV. And I really do enjoy it. And this is for people who, who don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. Uh, I basically have $30 a week for food, and that's about it. And, and, and everything else is uh, pretty much, uh, in terms of my budget, it's maxed out. So I don't have money for Disney Plus or anything like that. So uh, this is uh, a good way of uh, getting my stuff. I do like the family channels. But I don't have to pay a lot of money. The boxes are pretty cheap. And with the browser, rather than the uh, YouTube app, it works very well. It's telling me to turn right in two minutes, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, this is Finch coming up. It's a major road, and the next turn is the uh, left turn, not a right turn. So, I really don't want to uh, push it down that way. I will only be taking right turns from now, at least for another couple months anyways. Once I get used to the scooter then, uh, and, and, and being on the road more, then maybe I'll start looking at left-hand turns. But right now, yeah, there you go. I've got, the, uh, the, I've got a new device on here that holds my phone. It's waterproof. So even if it's in the rain, the other thing is I'm not going to be writing this in the rain. Let's turn right. There we go. Now this is where the, pro the problem starts. These roads are really bumpy. A lot of cracks and crevices. If you feel your tires going over these cracks and crevices on the side streets, on the scooter, they're ten times worse. And so this, this is where you have to be careful. You actually have to slow your speed down so you don't get bumped, uh, bounced off the uh, scooter. I'm going around some of the the, the problems, but uh, there's no way to go around all of them. So just look carefully and slowly. Watch out for the cars, watch out for the traffic. So that's kind of how things are going. right about now the other seat this is much better no I'll be going straight not down Van Horn you'll see it will correct later on again they're talking about another major street so do this do a proper stop okay and then that's what I'm probably should just do the pick up Not 
you doing? hard on the butt anymore, it is hard on the uh, hands. <laughs> my hands, after I get off of this, uh, when I get to my place, will be shaking for about a half hour. Uh, in the house, in the homes here, because it's fall, people have their fireplaces left, you can smell the wood. Thank you. 